Hey, how's it going, everybody? Today I'm going to explain pseudo classes. Pseudo classes are keywords added to a selector. They modify the behavior of an element when they're in a certain state. For example, I have a button. When I hover my cursor over the button, I set this button to increase in font size and also change the background color to green. Hover is an example of a pseudo class. It modifies our button's behavior. Active is when an item is currently selected, so with my mouse, I'm going to left-click the mouse button and hold it. The button is now red. Basically, they modify a special state of an element. So let's begin with a few examples. Let's go to our index file, and we will create a hyperlink. I will set the href attribute to be, I don't know, Google or something. HTTPS colon two forward slashes google.com. Be sure to close it. I'll type the word Google. Here is my hyperlink to Google. A link is also a pseudo class. I will select any anchor tags that we have. We have one. I'll set the link pseudo class to have these CSS properties. So a colon, then the name of the pseudo class. Instead of this text being blue, let's set it to be like a light blue. I will set the color property to be a light blue color. Let's pick one. That's pretty good. When I hover my cursor over this link, I want the color to change. We are selecting any anchor tags, colon, then we will use the hover pseudo class. And I will change the color. You know what? Let's use what we currently have. I'll just make it a little brighter. Now when I hover over this link, the color changes. I'll increase the font size too. It's kind of like we're zooming in on this element. Let's do 1.1 EM. So the font size increases slightly. Active kicks in when you're holding down the cursor over an element. A colon active. Let's change the font size to be 1.1 EM again. I will set the color to be, let's go with the dark blue color. When I left click on the mouse and hold it, this link is now in the active state. If a link is visited, by default it's purple. Let's change that. A colon visited. When our anchor element is in the visited state, I'll change the font color. Color, how about a gray color? There. All right, so those are a few basic pseudo classes. In this next example, we'll need a list, an unordered list. We will need 10 list item elements. This is number. Okay, let's copy this, paste it nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we will select any list items and use the hover pseudo class. When I hover over one of these list items, I will change the background color of that list item to be a highlighter yellow color. I will change the background color to be yellow. Let's go with that. So check this out. When I hover over a list item, the background color changes. There's also the not pseudo class. We can select anything that is not being hovered over. Not kind of does the opposite. Anything that is not in this state, anything that's not being hovered over. Let's set the color to be like a gray color. Anything that's not currently being hovered over is gray, but when it is hovered over, it's yellow. So that is the not pseudo class. Anything that is not in this state will have these CSS properties. Then we have the nth child pseudo class. List item colon nth child parentheses. Anything that's selected, let's set to be yellow. Depending on what value you put within the parentheses, that element will be selected. 
1 corresponds to the first element, 2 is for the second, 3 is for the third, 9 is for the ninth element. Number. For all odd number elements, type odd. For all even elements, type even. For every third element, that would be 3n. 3, 6, 9. For every fourth, that would be 4n. You can add an offset too. Normally with 3n, that's every third. But if I want to start at the beginning, I can add plus 1. 1, 4, 7. Or even plus 2. 2, 5, 8. It's kind of like a formula. This is really handy with JavaScript because you can place a variable within here. The value of that variable can change, which is pretty cool. All right, last example. Let's create a div element with an ID of greeting. The text will be hover here. Within our div element, let's create a paragraph element with some text of hello. Normally, I want this hello message to be hidden until we hover over this element, our div element. I'm going to style our greetings p element. I'll set the background color to be maybe a blue this time, like a light blue. I'll add a little bit of padding too, maybe 10 pixels. To make this element invisible, I can set the display property to be none. What I would like to do when I hover over this element, I want this element to be displayed. We are selecting our greeting. Then when we hover over it, I want the P element of this div section to have the display property of block. Display it as a block level element. When we hover over this element, it displays the P element within our div section. This will come really handy when we create dropdown menus. Those are pseudo classes. Elements can have special states, like when they're being hovered over or you click on them. Using these pseudo classes, we can apply CSS properties to those elements when we interact with them. And those are pseudo classes in CSS.